Hi guys, this is AC Gamer back with a new video. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you which leader is the best and which leader works well for your team because there's currently five different leaders and I'm pretty sure you guys are wondering which one is best for you. If you guys are wondering how to unlock these leaders, you just have to clear the story mode. As you progress further, more leaders get unlocked for you. Currently, I believe this leader, I don't know if it's when you complete the stage, complete stage 13. Or isn't you can't unlock him now, but I can't unlock him now. So um I haven't I've beaten the story mode here and I am close to beating the as you can see the last stages here. Um but anyway, let's get right into the video. Guys, don't forget to like the video, subscribe. I, I produce content on Illusion Connect and Hero Contari. Um, help me get to 1k before the end of this year and I will be doing a giveaway currently we are past 700 subscribers and I'm thankful to all you guys for subscribing so yeah let's reach further let's go further beyond and um, yeah anyway let's go and look at the leaders now different leaders have different passives now I didn't even know this until today and I've been playing for three three weeks more than three weeks I have been um, currently actually I've been using this leader since I never switched out until today Today, um, I realized something when I was in the arena. Um, I realized that some, as I was trying to fight units and I would lose, I would realize, okay, let's go to lineup. I decided to go to my lineup and I saw my leader and I pressed it and I realized free glowing stuff. And I realized the different that passives unlock based on what units you have. So what you need to do is pick the leader who has the most amount of passives unlocked for you. Right now, my other leader here, my first one, has this three passives unlocked. Now, you do need to look at the passives unlocked and see if it's beneficial for you guys, if it's beneficial for your team. Come read it and see which one. So, yeah, this one here has increases allied partners attack by 12%, very good. HP by 12%, very nice. And attack by 6% and HP. Now, let's switch to the next one. Different passives get unlocked. This one has only two passives unlocked. And there's only 15, 15%. Um... Which is probably is higher than the other leaders passive but there's he, the leader also has one more passive which was attack and six attack and hp increased by six percent each so 12 yeah so it's much more higher than this guy over here so i definitely would not use him anymore as you can see only two passes are unlocked so i'll look at him thinking okay he has pretty um the, the good the passives unlocked are pretty good so i'll look at the next one this guy has one two three four passives unlocked the highest i've checked it out if i go to the next one three passives unlocked if i go to him and i read out the passives that he has unlocked increases initial energy by five and allied partners damage rate by 10 percent. pretty nice when the leader's hp is less than 60 70 to 60 gain five energy mm, I'm, not, I'm not really too sure about that one increase allies attack by six and ten percent really nice 15 percent here um overall this is be definitely good but I'm, i don't really like the two on top i just really like if this was or not i would have liked it but anyways that's fine now let's go to the next leader because i found out that this guy seems to work well in my team um increases down a leader's damage resistant rate by 35 percent for five turns oh that's actually good no wonder i was winning with him uh, increase allied attack by 8 and 5% and allies HP by 15 okay as you can see this passive is pretty good pretty neat um, let's go back to which one was it that I was facing and I lost was it this let's see if I win it but I just switched my leaders no I didn't uh, we'll do that again because I don't lose anything for trying okay I lost that let's switch leaders and see if I win it more if I win it based on my leader and the passives he has unlocked that's what you have to do you have to see which passive which leader works well for your team because one leader isn't best for everyone um if you're building a sorcerer team i do believe one of the leaders will be specifically better so if you're building a sorcerer's team look at the leader's passive to see which one gets unlocked then pick um let's see so so far after looking at uh, my at the leaders right now which one would i pick it's between this one this one and this one um um i do have to see how they work well work in game to see if it's good and whatnot 
So you do have to be going around testing different leaders to see which one works well. As you can see, I won that by just changing my leader. That's another tip. Just if you go through arena, carry on switching all the leaders to see which one works well for you. And as you can see, the one that I was finding difficult to beat with other leaders, I was able to beat with this specific leader. So that one. Even though he has more passes unlocked, I don't think he's good for my team. Um, oh, I won it. As you can see, just carry on switching out your leaders to see which one works well for you. Anyway, it's been your boy AC Gamer. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe. I make content on Illusion Connect Hero Kantari. Help me get to 1k before the end of this year and I will be doing a giveaway. So stay tuned for that. It's been your boy AC Gamer and I'm out.